Back when Apple released the MagSafe wallet, which is this little magnetic wallet that sticks to your iPhone, I had a few choice words for it. I mean, I called it a mess, and I just didn't see why people should spend $50 on a wallet like this. However, I did decide to stick with it, and I've used it every single day since I got it in the mail a few months ago. And I gotta say, I think I was wrong about the MagSafe wallet. See, I think I was just looking at it the wrong way. I could be wrong, but I don't believe this wallet was meant to be attached to your phone at all times, which I obviously knew back when I got it, but for some reason, I only made judgments based on how it operated as one single unit compared to them being separate. I had so many complaints about, oh, the off chance that I put this in my pocket with the wallet and the phone attached and it falls out, what do I do? And I never stopped to think that maybe this isn't the way we should use it. And I will say that's not probably what Apple thinks. They probably wanted our phone and wallet to be attached together. That's why they made this. But I'm thinking that that's not how you should go about using this wallet. This is just my personal opinion. This wallet is meant to be something that stays in your pockets, occupying very little space. And then on the off chance that you want your wallet out of your pocket and you need to take it out, you can just attach it to your phone and it's there for safekeeping. So for me personally, whenever I used to go back out in public, uh, like to a restaurant or a bar, the first thing that I would do is take everything out of my pockets. I get it, it's weird, but I can't possibly be alone in the world and the only person who does this, but yeah, I would take my phone and my wallet and my car keys. Now I don't have car keys anymore, which is great, but I would take my phone and my wallet out and put them on the table. I wanted them in front of me. I wanted them out of my pocket. So that's where the whole MagSafe thing comes into play. When I do that, instead of putting them on the table and you know have them separate, I can stick them together. I can't tell you how many times when I go to leave a restaurant or a bar, I've left my wallet on the table because that functionality didn't exist. But now that can personally help me out and not forget those two items. I'll never forget my phone, or at least I would rarely forget my phone, but the wallet is something that I could forget, and so that definitely helps out. Now, as for the wallet itself, like the actual construction and the form factor, it's tiny. I don't like thick wallets, and this thing is tiny, so there's nothing to worry about there. It's really small, it's really minimal, it fits three cards comfortably. Putting in a fourth is asking for it. It's just too much. But man, I really, really wish that I can carry just one more card in this wallet. I really needed to fit one more for the way I personally pay for things when I'm out in public, but I've managed to make do without. I've had to go through a few hoops and I know that if I'm going somewhere, I'll take out the card that I need and you know swap in the one that I want or whatever it might be, or just hope that Apple Pay is available. If not, I can always make bank transfers, etc. It's not that big of a deal, but it is an inconvenience that at times, you know, it can be kind of annoying. The beauty of this wallet is that if I'm ever forced to put them in my pants pocket, it's incredibly tiny and literally feels like there's nothing in there. I hate having things in my pockets. I think I've said that quite a few times now. And so I just actively avoid doing it. In the winter time, like right now, that's pretty simple. I can just put it in my coat pocket, but it's nice that when the summer comes and I need to put it in my pants, you'll barely notice that it's in there. Now, with all of that said, I do think that this magnetic attachment here could be stronger. And there have been some rumors about the iPhone 13 having a stronger MagSafe connection. So I'm not the only one who thinks that this could be something that could be improved. Um, it's just a bit too weak for my liking, but minimizing risk and only attaching when you really need to definitely changes my outlook on this whole experience. I do like the minimal tiny form factor. I just wish I could sneak in one more card. And also, not to ramble on here too much, but there is, a little bit of a trick that I would recommend. Um, your cards are gonna get scratched up. The numbers are going to get scratched up quite a bit and start to wear. So what I do, and I didn't actually do this correctly here, but I put my card with the numbers facing towards the back. So not only does it give it an easier grip for you to slide the card up, but it's just not rubbing together with another card. So I think it'll help prolong the time that that card stays like in good shape. Um, as far as the quality and the leather, it's top notch. I've had zero issues. I've seen the brown wallet have a lot more wear and tear over the last few months. I'm not someone who's constantly taking out of their pocket. So, you know, aside from a few scratches on it, it looks totally like I just bought it. Um, so maybe the brown would be a lot more noticeable, but with the black or the blue, 
it still looks and feels brand new. But I would love to know your thoughts in those comments down below, especially if you own a wallet and you've been using it. What do you think? Am I crazy for thinking that maybe it's just not something that always needs to be attached to your phone and that it should be used in the way I described? Or, yeah, I don't know. Just let me know in those comments down below. And before we end today's video, I want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC offers a wide range of products for your Mac, like internal hard drives and SSDs, memory, Thunderbolt 3 docks, and much more. One product that really caught my attention recently is the new Envoy Pro Electron SSD. This is OWC's fastest and toughest mini-sized USB-C powered drive that the company offers, and yeah, it's super fast. This drive boasts incredible real-world performance due to it being powered by OWC's Aura SSD, giving users up to 1,011 megabytes per second. It's incredibly small and can fit in your pocket easily, but it's also built like an absolute tank. This is the perfect new SSD for those who are worried about being on the go and potentially something happening to your SSD because it's so rugged. Uh, the build quality is excellent and it's extremely durable. So for more information about this new Envoy Pro, Electron, or anything else OWC has to offer, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.